After spending hours upon hours trying to figure out what tweaks actually work for your PC, I genuinely have finally found the best solution to getting the maximum frames in a game and the lowest input delay. Boys, all you have to do to figure out these tweaks is just watch till the very end. As per normal in my videos, I go through advanced tweaks to very, very basic tweaks. And in this video, if you watch till the end, I promise you, your frames will be so much higher. You'll be getting up to 360 FPS in a game and also your delay will be so much less. All I want in return, boys, if you can quickly leave a like, quickly subscribe, that will mean so much to me. Me and my team full of professional PC tweakers have been working so, so long for me to bring you out this video. I genuinely hope you like it, but without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, boys, like I said, it will be advanced and some basic tweaks. This first one is gonna be a very, very advanced tweak that took me ages to find out. Boys, one thing that I just want you to quickly do is head over to Task Manager, go on to performance and CPU the processors right here is what you want to be looking at boys just looking at this the higher the processors the worse your PC will run just because there's so much strain on your CPU so for me we well, usually I have about 90 to 100 obviously right now it's not 90 to 100 it's 140 that's literally because I'm recording and doing some other stuff in the background by the end of this video you will have much less processors if you do these exact steps so the first thing you want to do head over to the description of my video and there are lines of code you guys are probably thinking Jinji what is all of this gibberish in the description of the video this is literally at three CMD commands to lower CPU usage obviously the lower your CPU usage the better your game will run just because your CPU can focus all of its priority onto your game so for example Fortnite which I use boys right the first one we'll see set processor scheduling to programs this command prioritizes programs over background services which can enhance game performance so for example right now in the background I I have OBS running, NVIDIA broadcast, NVIDIA settings. If I put this line of code into CMD, all of these will be in low priority, boys. That is obviously so much better for your game, as obviously, like I said, more priority going into your game. So to do this, you want to search CMD, command prompt will pop up, run as admin. Do not just open it, you have to run it as admin. Once you do that, click onto yes, this pops up. Now, it says copy code, literally simple as that. Copy the code, control C, control V, paste it in, press enter. That's all you have to do, boys. The operation was completed successfully. Now, obviously, in the background, your apps won't be running in a high priority, which is so good. Second one, disable Windows Search. Disabling the Windows Search indexing service can reduce CPU usage, especially if you don't use the search frequently. For me, I don't even use it. Boys, all you have to do, copy the code, go back into CMD, literally same place as before, success you won't even notice a difference on your pc that is how good it is and the third one boys disable superfetch sys main superfetch can sometimes cause high cpu usage disabling it can improve performance again same as before copy the code just like this again these seem quite easy but require just so much help to know what these kinds of code do so once you're on cmd again paste it all and click enter chain servicing config is a success once you've done these three of course i have so many more let me know down in the comments if you want more of these command prompts they're so easy to do but it's just so hard to find that's the only big problem once you do this i promise you when you do restart your processors will be lower if you guys are thinking jinji your processors have gone up three if anything obviously i haven't restarted my pc these tweaks only will work when you restart the pc once you're done with this we can go on to our next tweak and boys, just quickly, one other thing that I want you to do, quite a basic tweak, go on to Task Manager, head over to Services, what I want you to do, scroll all the way down, boys, Xbox Authenticator Manager, Xbox Game Save, Xbox GIP, SVC, Xbox Net. What you want to do is disable these three. Obviously, for me, I do not use the Xbox Control Panel. And for most of you watching this video, should not be using this as well. If you're using Xbox Game Bar to clip stuff, boys, you need to be turning that off. I will get into it in just one second. But first thing, you need to do right click over it and press press stop that's all you need to do on all four of them once you do this again you will have to restart at the end of this video that's completely fine but that means these won't be running on the background each one of these are about five to ten processors so imagine this 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 40 processors right there i'll be running 183 processors compared to the 143 that i am now boys small stuff like this makes such a big difference to your pc i really would recommend turning this off whilst we're here head over down here and search game mode settings 
once you're on here, go on the game bar. This has to be turned off. The same with the captures, both of these turned off. This is the same thing as the Xbox services. From Xbox, this is how you clip it and you do not want to be using that. Instead, literally download Nvidia. That's what you can clip from. The Nvidia GeForce experience is so much better for delay. It uses tiny amounts of processors as well. But if you have Xbox, small stuff like that, boys, it is so bad for your PC. Also, game mode. You will have to let me know in the comments about this, as some of you may not be sure. When game mode is on, Windows optimizes your PC for play. Not for all PCs, boys. If you have a good PC, you can turn this on. But if you have an older PC, not so great PC, turn this off. For example, a Ryzen 3 or a Ryzen 5, I'll turn this off. If you have a Ryzen 7 or 9, turn this on. So for me, I have a Ryzen 9, turn this on. If you're not sure or have an Intel CPU, leave it down in the comments. I'll get back to all of you about this one. This is quite a confusing one. If you're not sure and you don't want to comment as well, boys, literally turn this off, restart your PC, go on to Fortnite, go into Creative, see how your lag is, then turn it on, restart again, go on to Fortnite, and see which one you prefer. But genuinely, most people have this on. It's not too great for your PC. Whilst we're talking about these settings, one thing I want you to do again, search GPU, graphic settings pops up, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. It is so bad for your PC. I am not even joking. I've done so much research on this. So many PC tweakers say, oh, turn this on, turn this on. In the previous videos of my comment section, people did thank me quite a lot for saying turn this off, as so many of you had this turned on, and when you turn it off, your lag is just so much better. Of course, it does say reduce latency and improve performance. It genuinely doesn't. It is lying to your face, boys. It's literally like the game mode settings. If you have an extremely good PC, you can turn this on. But if you don't believe me, literally there's no harm in just turning it off, just like I have. Restart your PC, go into Fortnite and test it out for yourselves, boys. There's no harm in doing that. But genuinely, in my opinion, turn this off. Most people as well have Fortnite right here. Make sure that's not there as well. If you don't believe me, try it for yourself. Your lag will be so much better. And boys, one last thing, quite an advanced tweak. I want you to head over to your search bar, search system configuration. Click onto this. When we're on here, click on selective startup. Tick the first two boxes right here. Once you've done that, press apply and okay. As of course, the last one is using a bit of delay. Once we're done with that, go on to boot. Safe boot needs to be off, obviously. Timeout, boys, click a timeout between zero and five seconds. The better your PC, the lower the timeout, the worse your PC, the higher the timeout. So if you don't have a good PC, five seconds. If you have the best PC in the world, zero seconds. But for me, I have an average PC. So for me, literally three seconds. Whilst we're on this page, do not go off it. Click on advanced options. What you want to do is tick this number of processors. Whilst on here, most of you will be on one, maybe even four. Boys, click the maximum amount, 16. Obviously, if you click on 16 and I had one before, your PC will be 16 times faster because there are more processors running on in the background compared to your one or four. Most of you may be thinking, I don't have 16, Jinji, I only have 12. That's fine. Every CPU will have a different number of processors you can pick right here. Just pick the maximum amount. Once you have, click on OK okay and remember to apply once you do apply you will have to restart now boys restart go into fortnite and tell me how this video was for you guys as so many people gave me positive feedback for this it helped them so so much please do remember as also leave a subscribe leave a like i will bring more videos out further this week for you